Hello, my favorite cousins. How are you guys? Um, I wish I could be there right now with you and <laughs> see all your faces, but um, for now, I just did want to share some of my thoughts, if that's okay. Um, okay, so first off, just something that helped me before going on my mission. And I really only have one, well, okay, I have a couple answers, but my biggest one for sure um, is having a testimony of the Book of Mormon. And um, I have it with me right now, <laughs> my, my Libro de Mormon, and it's something that I have loved and I've treasured and I've known is true for many years. And um, it's I've told people it's my best friend. <laughs> and I told my, my mission president when I first came out here, I said, the Book of Mormon is my best friend. And he said, oh, then that's awesome because you have an English Book of Mormon best friend and now you can have a Spanish Book of Mormon best friend. And and I just, I know it's true. I know it's true with my whole heart. And the only way I've gained that testimony is through reading it every day. And it's it's something we tell our friends. Um, it's like, we ask them, what is your favorite food? And they always, they're like, oh, tamales, oh, arepas, oh, tacos. And we're like, yeah, we love those things too. And then and we ask them, we say, how do you know it's your favorite food? And they're like, oh, well. Oh, we've we've tried it before. Like we've we've tasted it before, and we say exactly. <laughs> we say you know it's your favorite food, not just because you've looked at it, not just because other people have told you it's true, but because you've tried it. And with the Book of Mormon, it's the exact same way. Because the reality is, you can't know it's true if you've never read it before. You have to read it, and it's through reading it that you know for yourself that it's true. And it's. It's kind of, it's because one day, if you do go on a mission, you'll be there, you'll be there with your tag, you'll be there in your missionary clothes, you'll be with your companion, and you'll be sitting across from someone, and you're, you're going to get to the point where you teach about the Book of Mormon, and you can, you can hand in the Book of Mormon, and if you, you can just hand it to them, be like, oh, well, like, and I, other people say it's true, it's, you know, it's like, it's like handing someone a plate of spaghetti, right? Be like, oh, it's spaghetti, like, other people say it's, it's good, but I don't know, I've never tried it before. Um, or, if you have a testimony of it, you can, you can tell them, you can say, I have read this book, and I know it's true. I know it's true, because I've read it, I love it, I know it's stories, I know it's teachings, it's brought me closer to my Savior, Jesus Christ, and I know it will help you. And even just that simple, those simple words will carry so much into their hearts. Because these people, they're going to they're gonna have doubts. They're going to have hard things in their lives. They're not going to know. And you can, you can help them. You can say, I know it's true because I read it. And I invite you to read it now too. And this book will help you. And that will carry so much. And people, people can say whatever, right? They can have doubts, but it's really hard to doubt a testimony. And if you can say, I have a testimony of this book, it'll be, it'll make all the difference. And it'll be your favorite thing. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to teach right now is the Book of Mormon. I get so excited every time we get to that part in the lesson, because I can bring up my Book of Mormon and I can tell them, I can tell them this book will help them. And it's helped me so much before my mission too. I, high school and things are hard. Friends are hard, um, tests are hard, everything, things are hard. And, but the Book of Mormon has so much power, so much power. And it's when you can read it and you can feel that power in your life that you can know that God loves you and you can have that strength to go through hard things. Um, and it'll, it'll be the exact same when you go on your mission too. Um, but you can only know it's true if you've read it. <laughs> that's been, that's been um, true for me and true for other people and true for our friends. Um, and then also my last little bit of advice, um, something I've learned on my mission, uh, which I've learned a lot. It's kind of crazy. That's one of the best parts about a mission is you just, you learn so much. <laughs> and like, I've been out here six months and I learned so much in those six months. Um, but one thing I really have learned is that when hard things happen, you have a choice and you can choose to turn to God or away from God. And it's when you choose to turn to God that there's so much light and so much peace and so much hope and so much strength. And it's those things that help you get through your mission and get you get help you through life. And also, it's kind of the same concept to you, but when something hard happens, <laughs> you can be like, you can be sad about it, right? And it's totally okay to be sad. It's it, There are hard things, but you can also just laugh. 
or make a joke out of it or 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 say you know what okay that was hard but we're gonna move on and try something else or try a new friend or or um <laughs> I don't know, just just being able to to turn that turn that um kind of the, just that that hard thing just turn it around into something that just finding the positive finding the thing you can be grateful for um that's been really big for me because it's it is hard and if if you kind of get into those negative mindsets it's really hard to break out of them but if you can just talk back to your negative thoughts and say no like god will help me i know this church is true those anything that just is positive and happy and if you can focus on that more than the negative then that's what will give you strength and hope and peace and will help you keep going and i do just want to add to that i do know this church is true i've been so grateful to be a missionary um i'm so thankful for this book of mormon and i know i know the savior loves us each individually and i've I felt him with me on my mission. He's been right next to me, my best friend this whole time. He just walks right with me and he walks right next to each of you in anything you're facing um, now or in the future. And I, I just know those things to be true. And I hope you guys are all well and I love you so much. Hello, all my amazing Hill Cousins. Oh my gosh, I hope you're having so much fun on the temple trip with Nana and Grandpa. Um, I have been asked to share a little bit about my mission experience, things that I did to prepare, things that can help you guys prepare, and things that I have learned. So here I am. Um, as I thought about what I could share with you guys, the thought that came to my head was to talk a little bit about commitment. So I just wanted to share a little story with you guys. Um, in my first couple weeks in Chile, uh, I found a song, uh, one of the church's youth songs called Faith in You that I really like. And this song just talks about Jesus Christ, about his grace and mercy. And the chorus says, You have given me so many different reasons to say that I will never lose my faith in you. And as a new missionary, um, I just had this moment listening to that song where I really felt the spirit and those words really resonated with me. And I just really felt like I could say it and it was true that I would never lose my faith in Jesus Christ. And actually in that moment, I said a little prayer to him and I just expressed my faith and my gratitude and my belief in him. And I promised him, I told him, I'm never going to lose my faith in you. And that commitment that I made in prayer to him at the beginning of my mission has actually been really, really powerful for me. Training is not easy. Training is the first 12 weeks of your mission in the field. And with all the adjustments to learning the language, to eating new foods, meeting new people, adjusting to a new culture, and learning how to be a missionary, there's a lot to learn, and it's hard. <laughs> it is hard. I will not deceive you on that. But having made that commitment to the Lord that I would come and serve this mission, and that I would see it through even if it was hard, and that I would never lose my faith in Him, even when it gets hard, and when I don't feel like I'm seeing miracles or seeing His help, has been super powerful for me. And in moments that I frankly wanted to go home or wanted to give up, that promise that I made has come into my brain. And I have remembered that I promised him that I would never give up on him because I know he'll never give up on me. Um, and so you Hill Cousins who are preparing to serve missions, I would say obviously the best, the most basic things you can do are read your scriptures and say your prayers because those things are the things that will help you develop your own personal commitment to the Lord and your own relationship with him. And as your love for him grows, then it will be natural for you to want to commit to him and want to serve him and see things like the mission through in their heart. But more generally, the advice that I would give is learn how to commit to something hard, but worthwhile and see it through. I feel like that's not something that's as valued in our world today, that a lot of people are losing their ability to do that that when things don't come easily, we tend to just give up on them. But I would say the experiences that I had before the mission, like going to college, going to high school and graduating, having a job, all of these things that weren't easy, but I committed to them. I made a commitment to somebody and I told them that I would do it. And so I did it, even if it was hard. Those experiences prepared me to come on a mission and to commit to the Lord and to say, even when it's hard, I'm gonna keep going because I made a commitment to do this. So that's the advice I would give to you. That I love you all so much. And yeah, I testify that Jesus Christ lives and that this is his church and that this is his work 
and I hope that all of you have the desire to serve a mission someday because it is an incredible experience and experience and I am learning so much and I feel so blessed by the Lord to have the opportunity to be here but I love you all goodbye ciao